Hello there. So we got Red Raid, one of the all time best decks in Gwent. Next to 41 Fortest, to Close Beta Spies, this is the best deck to play, in my opinion, currently in Gwent. And it's for a good reason. It is ridiculous. And this is the deck that you guys just keep telling me that, hey, Adam, I saw you streaming and like, you know, just winning like all the time with the Red Raid deck. Then I started playing the Red Raid deck. Then I lost all the time. So what's up? I don't know, but I'm going to go over how you play this deck. <clears throat> but most of all, like this is how we win. The new rate, we block off uh, spots from the opponent's board. We spawn two rats next to each other on a random enemy row. And keep in mind that your opponent has 10 cards. Usually, let's just assume that they're units. So opponent plays six units. So that's going to be six spots. And you play six uh, noon rates or uh, just spawn units from the noon rates. And that's going to be 12 spots. And there are 18 spots on the board. If your opponent plays more uh, units in, in well, more units in, in one card, they get screwed faster. If they play less units, they get, get, they get screwed slower. Generally, even the, the most passive decks, most conservative decks that with special cards, tend to get screwed by, like, screwed out of, like, two cards. And uh, the real spammy decks uh, tend to get screwed out of, like, six, six cards. On average, tend to uh, be able to not play four cards. So that is our win condition. But how do we set up that win condition? Because in order to, for that to happen, we need a long round three. So how do we make that happen? Is by winning round one decisively. We never want to play around in round two. <clears throat> that means I have Haunt in the deck, and I have Plague Maiden in the deck, and unlike most decks where you just want to save your best cards for last, I mean, to an extent, we want to play save our, our good cards for last, but our best cards we want to play right away. We want to haunt Plague Maiden, and one of the stronger options you can do is you start with Haunt. If you're going first, you start with Haunt into Plague Maiden, into a, a Bridge Storm or a, an Archispor. That is such a ridiculous amount of points in free cards that the opponent is most likely going to go down in cards. But generally, if you want to be super safe, you want to play six cards and play as many points as possible. Then pass. That is what you are aiming for, round one. <clears throat> because you're setting up a long round three. And uh, Matahari can also find, help us find these cards. And we also have up, um, Whispering Killock that can help us find Plague Maiden. So it's pretty important to uh, consistently win round one. But if things go wrong, we can always just fall back on, on a very solid Consume Monster uh, strategy. Because our deck is somewhat passive, we got Geralt Jordan in there. We don't actually want to kill units, because the more units your opponent has on their board, the, well, they will be unable to play units. So we don't want to kill anything. We just want to reset uh, big fat boys at the end of the, the round three. So that's why we have Jordan in there, and it's exclusively played in the last three cards of round three. <clears throat> Glusty Warp also exclusively played in the last three cards of round three. So this is not something you want to play round one, but you might hold on to it just in case to have it later. <clears throat> uh, keep in mind, Noon Rate is not something to be thrown away. You want to make sure that you want, have one of these guys round three. So you don't really want to throw it away. You might be able to get away with throwing away one of them round one if you have two, but generally that's not the strategy. You want to have... Uh, you want to be able to create... 12, 10 to 12 rats, generally, or at least 6, just to do something. But if, if not, then you will adjust your strategy to a consume monster, usually. <clears throat> so Manahari also serves a double purpose, because she draws a card, and you draw them a card that they cannot play, because you blocked off their board with rats. So that's amazing. <clears throat> and current tier again, serves a double purpose, because he can uh, copy the Noon Rate last round, uh, which just plays into the win condition, but uh, first round, he can also copy the, the Beast. Usually used with the Beast. And the Beast goes up in points. Beast is uh, played round one as well, just to generate as many points as possible. 
you want to uh, just go for a six uh, card push every single time. So in that sense, it's a very simple strategy. You go for a six round, six card push, if possible. If not, you go a few more cards just to really discourage your opponent. And but you always want to go for a, a long round free. If that doesn't work, you can always fall back on some consume uh, monster finish, I suppose. But that's generally not our strategy because we do have some cards in there that doesn't that don't really support the big consume monster finish. <clears throat> And a Baya and a Marilorn uh, can always target X. And Marilorn plus a Harpy Egg, that's 9 points. So that's ridiculous. But also uh, can be used to get rats. So that's how we get a lot of rats. So 2 noon, noon rates, that's 4 rats. Marilorn plus a Baya, that's 10 rats, possibly. We can also get another noon rate with the operator. We can get another noon rate with the current tier. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so generally you're not going to have like all of them, but you can get very close. And of course, uh, because we partly play on the opponent board, it's important to kind of make up the difference. So Jotun and uh, Glusty Warp serve as amazing finishers. Uh, once we already filled up the opponent's board. And I think I already went over the bigger cards here. Of course, it's important to have some consumes in there just to uh, work with the death fish, but that, those are the less relevant parts of the deck. <clears throat> and Harpy Egg is mostly used for round one, and uh, Andrego Larva as well. And Arcusport is just like thinning, and again, round one power. And the Bridge Troll is just, just to make sure that we can use Marilorn and Baya if uh, somehow. Uh, everything goes wrong. That's that's why I have the bridge troll in there. Plus, it's also a cheap uh, bronze. So yeah, that's it. I collected some games of like the first two of things going wrong, and the uh, last one is of things going very right because it is easy to show off the games that go go right and they are like ridiculous. But yeah, sometimes your opponent have other plans, and. Uh, it's nice to see it, the deck working more realistically. Not just uh, <laughs> really punishing some guy who's like spamming the board, which is ridiculous, but uh, it is also uh, too easy at that point. So that's it, guys. Uh, have fun and uh, take care. Stay awesome. Okay, Red Raid. Uh, we definitely don't want two Arcus Spores. These used to be Foglets. We don't have access to... The Haunt, which I really like, round one. We can also use Carantir with Beast as a way to push. Uh, Marilyn doesn't have a target. I would like to hold on to a Noon Raid for last round. Yordan is more like a finisher. But against Skellige, we might not need it. That's nice, we got a target. I think I need to mulligan here. Okay, this is not generally how we want to play this. So, I have no access to the haunt. Uh, and I have... Well, I can, first of all, just draw into it. But we also have Matahari. And the haunt is really good at pushing. Hmm, do I like the Urn of Shadows? I might just replace the Urn of Shadows. Uh, just for the points one. Because it is better with the Harpy Egg. But uh, we may not have a Harpy. Round one. What do we start with? I think we more seriously need to commit here. I'm kind of hoping that the beast will not die. Yep. Well, let's go Arcaspore. And we're gonna play a Harpy Egg next to it. Because we don't have a lot of value generators. 
And the, if the beast goes up to a 6, at that point it's already pretty damn good. Uh, 6 is not really uh, in the range of most uh, uh, damage cards. That's fine. So now we can play a Harpy Egg. And immediately get a Harpy. That's nice. So the new stratagem is definitely nice. Yeah, but your deck building is not sterile, and uh, the explanations behind your decisions. It is better than two random games. Yeah, but it was better that it was also longer than two random games. It was half an hour just to make one decision. <laughs> well, no, I, I can actually build a deck from the ground up, but we ended up with a very similar deck. Um, Okay, we can uh, trigger those, but I kind of want another RP. At this point, I just uh, built a deck that uh, had the good cards in it. And, uh, of course, the, the big idea is that we want to block the opponent's board uh, with rats. And this guy is probably a good candidate for that. Although, uh, Skelliga does have some self-damage, so we have to look out for that. This is damage self in an enemy unit, enemy unit, so some, some units damage anything. Uh, and Skelliga tends to have those. But it seems like we are fine now. If we play the beast, it is the time. And next up we're gonna Endrago Warrior between these two. If we wanna commit harder, one we... One thing we can do is... Is a player Plague Maiden in the back. Then Kairon on the Harpy Egg and the Archispor. And we're just gonna end up with a pretty big... Uh, swing there. I wonder if we need that. We're very close to losing. This guy's gonna die. It's hard to tell, because if I play this Endrago Warrior, we, we get 6 points plus uh, 4 points, and uh, we also go up by 2 points, and he might pass. He might pass, right there. And if he does that, it's amazing for me. But if he doesn't do that, then it, it would be better if I just played a, a Plague Maiden plus a Kairon. We can just play it a little greedy here. And just do this. At this point, we've got 39 points. Plus, of course, uh, the beast is going up. I mean, it is respectable, right? We're gonna go up to 42. If I pass, we're gonna be at 38. But that's only 10 points for him. And also he has hero power. I think. I can most likely do 10 points. Uh, generally you want to be in 6 cards. And it didn't work out right now. Uh, our... Our hunt is a... Big part of our round 1 push.
I'm thinking. That might be a bad idea. Okay, fine. I just wanted to allow the beast to grow. <laughs> we are not really gonna get the the usual big condition here. I might have to win with our consume style. So this is a guaranteed haunt. Uh, Jordan, will Jordan help me in this matchup? Pass. How many consumes I need? If well, haunt will give me access to free consumes, so I more care about uh, having uh, some uh, death fish guys that I do have. And it's not a big deal if he just play ra some rats on their side because we we're gonna cluster it. I care less about consumes. I have enough consumes. I have two in hand. I mean, two the hero power plus uh, we have access to haunt, so we don't need this. Now we have access to something else. We have access to whispering hillock into a harpy egg. Which is something we can target. Question is, do we and drag a larva? And drag a larva is not the, not bad. I think we're gonna keep it. There's gonna be an alternative win condition here. We won't be able to block units, or at least. Not many. Damage an allied unit by one. Okay. The plan is haunt. We can draw into some... Uh, we can draw into Whispering Hillock. Which gets at the Harpy Egg. But I do not want to target the Harpy Egg. Uh, with the consume, at least right away, because we want to target it with Malorum, Marilorn. Uh, you're then probably not going to help too much, and Gusty will get marginal value. So this is going to be tricky. Uh, the best way to shut down this uh, Rat Raid deck is to push round one very hard, but uh, those who do that usually get punished by a haunt. Oh, really? Okay. This hero power is on cooldown. I think next up, we're gonna play Matahari. Uh, generally, I would be rushing Noon Raid, so this is not a really good example game of uh, the rat deck. Also, you have cell damage. What would be cool is allied non spying. I would like that. Oh, that, dancing around. Not for me. that would be a slight buff to my strategy. We can at most block four uh, spots on his board. Six if I play the Marilorn. Which would boost the Glusty uh, by 
four extra points. But targeting the Harpy is better. So let's go with Matahari. I guess we might as well play the Noom, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. So he used up his last uh, damage on the Witcher Quartermaster. That was part of my dreams, but... Only dream. So at most we have six blocks. We can play a Noon Raid, eat that, and... Uh, yeah, we only have six blocks. It might be relevant. Let's see. Play a Noon Raid in the back. I right in the front. We're just gonna wait. Finally, we can eat right now. We have our harpy coming up. That's one consume, two consume, three consumes. Hitting the noon rate. Interesting choice. Destroy a damage unit. Oh, nice. Either he wants units on his board. Or... Wants to make sure that I don't spawn more rats for him. I would have liked uh, that uh, noon rate to stay on my board. At least it would have given an extra target to the Marilorn. The pack is not that boosted. What? Not your lucky day. Sure. These have two base power. I guess I can eat the egg. Before something bad happens. Now we got one consume. Probably the safe move. So you use the Jordan right now. So we can uh, get uh, three points in the front and uh, five in the back, I think. Which is not spectacular, but it is what it is. Let's get this, over with. this is going to be a loss, most likely. Although this is a... Uh, like plus three points, kind of. Oh. My bad. We, we could have won that one. Oh, never mind. We still win. I'm gonna eat you. Easy. <laughs> that's the, that's what I like about this deck. You you just completely mess up and like, oh, I guess we still win. Not a problem. Well played. Okay. Haunt is great. And, ooh, I think this is going to be a tempo pass. I think. We have consume. I don't need this guy. That could be a win condition. 
I don't need access to consumes. Arcaspor is great. Ooh. If I mulligan now, we, I might screw myself. Okay, we're just gonna play it safe. Have you guys heard of the Legend of the Temple Pass? I'm gonna demonstrate. We play Haunt first. Although, this dumbass hero power that I forgot to replace will hurt. I think we're still fine. We play Haunt. What is a Temple Pass? Do you guys know what it is? Of course. It is obvious. We play the most points we possibly can in free, free uh, cards, then we pass. Then your opponent uh, will most likely cannot keep up with you. Wait, so this is uh, a... Oh, it's one of those decks. I can consume the Kingslayer. Do we do that? I think we should do that. So, uh, plan B. We're gonna consume the Kingslayer. Uh, let's play an Arcaspor. Yeah, let's, let's play an Arcaspor over here. But the Bar Guest is gonna eat the Kingslayer. And the Desert Banshee is gonna eat the Arcaspor. And because of his uh, style, we don't don't really gonna go for the tempo pass which would be an amazing choice but yeah eating the kingslayer uh actually prevents him from targeting my kingslayer to get more kingslayers of his own that's annoying you can have that okay uh, let's have a bridge draw. I don't like this too much, but I think we're gonna target the bridge draw. Or the noon uh, knife braid. Yeah. Uh, I chose that hero power when I was building the deck, but, uh, and it makes sense with the Harpy Egg, but looking at the whole deck, it doesn't make sense. Top of it. I can still draw it. Bro, come on, do something. I'm already running out of uh, spots on the board. Okay. We scared him off. Where's this meal? It's better to try to duel or play classical, considering all three rounds. Yeah, you have an excellent point that we can also resort to being a consume monster. And we have uh, Gerald Jordan as a win condition against him. So that's great. But I think I'm gonna go for three rounds, because we managed to sh shut down his uh, milling so badly that at this point it's like, whatever. Um, yeah, we can target the noon, right? And Drago Larva... Ooh, Matahari, that's damn juicy. What do I want? I want nothing. Okay. I, I guess having another noon raid would be nice, but let's pass. What I would want is another noon raid, but we already have access to like noon raid, noon raid, like then then. Oh, yeah, I consume. We have that too. We have everything, and uh, Matahari also is gonna draw into the beast, which is not the best. That that is actually an excellent argument for uh, getting rid of the beast. Past. So, who knows? 
maybe that's gonna be the best. Uh, we gonna replace the beast for Goliath and uh, and replace Barghast for a Dragon Warrior. I guess we're not gonna get that. Uh, not my beast. We follow not that guy. Ah, oh, fine. Just kidding. Very curious case. Time to get our hands dirty. Sure. But he can't really prevent me from drawing. We're still gonna get cards. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I would prefer one of these. Because how we gotta play? Uh, copy noon rate, copy noon rate, noon rate, uh, play noon rate. We have four potential rats. We can eat them. So that's eight blockers. I would like one more blocker. Please? No? Yes? Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that's a yes. Let's take that. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. What makes you uh, back to Gwent? Uh, why not? Um, they had an update and I thought like, hey, I, I like streaming, why not come back? I didn't really think about it that much. Since when you were back? Uh, since like a few days ago. Oh, I actually don't mind that too much. You can play that. Okay. So, we're gonna... Operator. A noon rate. Then copy a noon rate. Then play the noon... Well, just uh, trigger the noon rate. Let's go, let's, we're just gonna play noon rate for the next five moves. Ugh. The update is not uh, big, though. Oh, you're right. I should just leave. You're right. The update was not big. But hey. It was good enough excuse to come back. <laughs> not like I need one. I was kind of hoping for, like, maybe some new cards eventually. That might be the beast. Actually, if he plays the beast... <laughs> Enjoy those. So, they're probably gonna be target noon rate. Target noon rate, uh, play a noon rate, then harp, uh, then K run the whole thing. Sound good? It is uh, best to play uh, the rats out before he gets to 8 units on one row. Because uh, the rats spawn at the same time on, on one specific row. So two rats spawn on one row. So you can lose one rat.
Oh no. Wow, he just can't wait to get rats. Wow. Uh, we have two plays. Actually, three plays, kind of? We, we can consider playing the Jotun. But I think it's probably better. Uh, he's gonna kill some of my guys, so... We're gonna have a juicier Jotun. We can play the Noon Raid. That's the no-brainer no move. We can also try to establish the beast earlier. But the, the board is not tall, so might as well play the Noon Raid in the back. And we're gonna instantly consume the Noon Raid as well. Just in case he would get locked. Well, why not, might as well do that. Now we have kind of a... Almost a death K-run. It's super annoying that he's... Uh, he's just playing uh, artifacts. But hey, what can I do? Uh, of course, Matahari has a double purpose. We not only have a way to draw into the haunt and uh, uh, Plague Maiden in our deck, but this also extends last round. So that means if they can't already, they can't already they can't they can't play units, so they're kind of screwed. And uh, we just give them another unit that they can play. They won't like that. Hmm. We can play a beast. Although making uh the argument for Jotun is is okay. However, he would get hit anyway, so I might as well play the beast. The big advantage of not playing with the <laughs> On the on the Bilero, that he's just uh, camping there now. Damn. What a game, Red Swarm. <laughs> I'll get free cards, mate. Go ahead. Okay, I guess we can use uh, Jordan later. We can also eat those. To make a... Uh, a little bigger Jotun. I don't know. Should we eat the Ekimara as well? We're gonna have a, some pretty big boys. If I eat this, we're gonna have an 18. But the Jotun is even gonna be better. Or bigger. What is this 33 point card? <laughs> That's normal stuff. That's, everyone has that. <sighs> I guess we might as well just play the Ghost now. It's not, not the best. I turned out. Uh, no, no, we're gonna. Use the hero power on the Yordan, I guess. Because he's gonna trigger these, and he's not blocked off. And we can just hit the beast. Uh, strip him from 
of like six points, give or take. Oh, yeah, that's the one that's gonna take me down. G. Well played. I was playing vampires and they, they got like, oh yeah, we can take you down with the vampires decks. Wah, boo, vampires suck. And now I play Rat Raid and everyone's dying. GG. Okay. So, good round one. Oh, fuck. I forgot to change the hero power again. Uh, definitely throw a spore. I don't need that many consumes. Also, I forgot to change a card. I have two consumes, so it's gonna be like uh, Andrago Larva, Haunt, uh, Harpy, actually Arcaspore, Harpy Egg, target that. We don't need to consume. We can also draw into. Oh, that one. Okay. Hmm. We have two moves, actually. We can play. Temple Pass, which is Haunt into Plague Maiden into Harpy Egg. Copy the Harpy Egg. We got a Temple. Do you guys want to see a Temple Pass? And how many points the Temple Pass is going to be? Come on. Leave something in the chat. Please. I like talking to myself, but I do sound like a crazy person. Hmm. Okay, let's do the tempo pass. And it's gonna be Plague Maiden, then uh wait. Arcaspore is really good. You should be twenty point over to try to tempo pass. Hmm. Yeah, but we we might want to play the Arc Spore. I mean, it can be like a four point tempo pass, maybe. <laughs> I'm just changing the rules here. Okay, it's not gonna be a tempo pass. It's gonna be Andrago. Andrago into Arc Spore. Into Harpy Egg. We wanna. Copy the Harpy Egg. Okay, we're gonna win in six cards. At least, uh... Push him in six cards. And the thing is, if I start with the Hunt, they're already like, Oh yeah, this person is a lunatic. I got this guy round three, no problem. At least that is what they're thinking. At least that's what I think they're thinking. But the only reason that the Temple Pass didn't work is because of the Urn of the Shadows. So, I will change this. And after that, we're gonna be unstoppable. Not that the Urn of the Shadows is not great. It is, it is truly great, but not in this deck, necessarily. I want to play a Harpy Egg in the back. Uh, the Urn of Shadows in the Harpy Egg. I'm kind of struggling with space. Unless we don't play the Plague Maiden. Um, let's play this in the front. Oh, actually, I don't target that. Yes. No? Yes. We don't target that. Uh, 
If access to consumes, let's pass. I think I'm gonna be doing an Abaya on the Harpy Egg and a Merlor on the Harpy Egg, and that's probably gonna be good enough. Why is he? He's such a fancy boy. Oh, he's giving up. Ooh. Okay. Pass. Um, these are really good for uh, run three as well. Pass. I think this is going to be the last game for today. I don't want to stream for uh, too late. Okay. Uh, we have two Noon Raids and three Marilorns. This is ridiculous. But is there something else I want? Yeah, there are some good good cards in here. Okay, let's try to switch a Marilorn out. Okay. We ended up with something worse. Never mind. I think I will make one trait and we'll replace the hero power. Yeah, but that's gotta be like for next stream. However, I will make the changes at the end of this stream. Uh, I can play like 12 points here with the Harpy, Egg plus Marilorn, but might as well just not do that and pass. The interesting thing is that we're actually giving him less information, although he already has like some information of what the hell I'm doing, but he doesn't know that I'm a rat raid deck. And that's kind of that's kind of what I love. Look at this. He has no idea what I'm doing. At least I like to think so he has no idea what I'm doing. But he probably has no idea because it's really hard to tell. Unless you start seeing operators. Like you're not gonna see Jotun operator and Glossy Warp. And even if he even if he saw a noon rate, it's like, whatever, he plays a six pointer. I guess he wanted to. That's fine! If he draws into an operator, I like that. I mean, it's not the best. I mean, it is not the best, but. If he has an operator, if he plays an operator, then he actually blocks off cards from his board, which is fine for me. Oh, okay, I definitely don't want this. Not really that. I mean, the plan is here is like one, two, three. Like we want as many blockers as possible, and currently we have eight blockers. I don't know what this even draws into. Okay, that that looks good. I'll kick this. I don't. Need extra consumes. I guess that's better. This is good for the Glusty that I will most likely get. And we can just keep targeting the Noom Rates. Okay, Glusty. So now we're gonna get access to our Karen tier with Matahari. Uh, and this looks fine. Although part of our wing condition is missing, uh, Glusty probably can carry this. It's gonna be a, like a big guess, Glusty. I thought she was just. Uh, Frozen. He kept my operator. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't think he knows else else he would have not kept it. Okay, guys. Time to make the guesses. How many cards I will block off? From this guy. Okay, the beast can wait. Hmm. I mean, at least six. He's indicating that he might have some damage. When I play a soldier? Aren't any of the monsters soldiers? Why not? Hmm. 
mercy. Okay. So I can play this one guy. Yeah. It's probably better. I'm just gonna play this one guy. For now. And we can start targeting him. With Abaya, Merlorn. I'm hoping at least four cards blocked here. He even has a location. <laughs> The only reason I didn't start with the uh, Carantir into a uh, uh, Noon Rate start is because the Noon Rate most likely would have died. <clears throat> if it kills it, that's fine. I, I don't need to consume it. I just have consumed just in case. And Kieran is really good at that. He's gonna be... Well, we're probably not gonna need the Kieran. I have enough uh, consume uh, with the hero power. I, I just want to make sure that uh, the Marilorn uh, finds target. Other than that, I just want to play all the rats we can. And I think this guy is going to get super wrecked. Because this is not what he's prepared for at all. Pretty sure that, as you said, Goliath will be better than the beast in this deck. Yeah. And before I didn't know that, so I guess uh, spending time uh, building deck actually made sense. It deals random damage. Even if I played a uh, a small beast here just to try to get up in points, like. I don't really care. That's not how we win. It would not be even super tall because it would be it would go up to a six and there's yeah, there's nothing tall here. Although the beast is amazing, truly amazing. But uh that's not really how we win games. Okay. How many soldiers is that? That's like three soldiers only, not no? Get them back! Get them back! You have to. It is your destiny. Are you just gonna give me points? You gotta get those guys back. Come on, what are you thinking about? Don't even think about it. Just just get them. Yes, of course, of course. Just do it. Yeah, I, I, let's go. Woo! <laughs> this guy does not know what's up. Not even close. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough. <clears throat> he can uh, block off Gusty. Uh, a little bit. Not, not, not by a lot. Ooh. That means I, I have a pretty good Jordan in the back. <laughs> Ow. These combos are legendary. I guess we're just gonna keep this here. Just in case. Ooh, no. Uh, it's time to beast. Uh, we can beast in the back. Well, we don't have Jotun. 
We cannot get Jotun. I kind of want to Plague Maiden in the front. So I don't want to play too many cards here. Guess we can A run. Uh, let's 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 go beast in the back. Okay. <clears throat> what now? Five cards blocked. Amazing. I mean, what is what what's keeping him alive is that oh, I mean. He may have blocked up a few cards, but I have more points, right? <laughs> Why is he thinking so much? Probably he has at least a spell. I mean, is that a soldier even? No one can hide from me. I mean, thanks for that. That's gonna help my uh Glusty get bigger. Alright. I mean beast is okay. Beast is definitely okay. We should not count out the beast. This is this is still fine. Okay, time to burn some cards. We can K run in the back. Eat the Marilorn. And we can just wait. That's gotta be a Glusty target. We're gonna Glusty last. We're gonna Plague Maiden? Play? Yeah. Sure then. But the beasts suffer reset cards? With Goliath, you can avoid them? I'd say both are decent options. So it's gotta be more of a, a meta call. Right? So I I'm not saying like either one is superior. You just gotta see what you're going up against. You have some options. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna pass. I mean, I just uh, accept it. Eleven should go up. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't I hope he's not gonna give up. Why would you give up? I, I love I love that, that he just he actually chose to have the operatives. Oh man. That was not a good call, mate. And he kept my kept my operator as well. He cannot resist operating here. And then the pawns are the best. Anyway. I just love this. I just love this that the opponent can do nothing. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that's actually a little annoying. Oh, never mind that. Oh, the beast is going. Not even taking my consumer. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Still hope. I only lead by two points. There's still hope, guys. Still hope. Hope he doesn't give up. <laughs> but when, when your biggest concern is that you're hoping that your opponent doesn't give up, so you can win in a very... cheeky way. I think you're good. Oh, he's hoping that I have some kind of spell in my hand. Have you seen my deck? I mean, my deck, I mean. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> oh, 
Let's see his options. Wow, actually he could have had uh, a Whispering Hillock or Tourney Just. Oh, look at that. Dismiss. Guys, we are... It's got to be a very close game. Let's see how it works out. So, we can eat this. We can eat Plague Maiden. That'd be Glusty. Then beat Glusty. Just, just for lose. 41 point guy. Twice as many points as the opponent. Close game. I should have sent well played. This is the well played time. Alright, Graymore. GG.